Hello, welcome. <laughs> today, um, today we will start from the past and move forward to explore the rich traditional culture. I want to kick off with a story. In the southwestern of China, there is a minority group named Miao. For thousands of years, Miao people have been working and living in the mountains there. However, the Miao people don't have their written language, so they use embroidery to record their history and culture, which named Miao embroidery. The Miao embroidery expressed the Miao people's understanding of the everything in the universe, which includes uh, mythical animals, clouds, butterfly, dragon, and stuff. So it looks very beautiful, but it's also very fragile. The heritage of the Miao embroidery is passed down from the older generation to the younger generation through the oral tradition. And I want to share this photo from 1970, which is very precious because it is very for hard for us to see such thing as nowadays. And m less and less young people learning and engaging in the Miao embroidery ecosystem. In the report from the 2019, 75% of the Miao craft women are over 45 years old. The average age of them is over 15 years old. The Miao embroidery is on the verge of the getting lost with the time. The Hu system is a gradually aging and facing a serious heritage crisis. Why did this happen? I want to share the data with you. The average salary of the Miao craft woman is only $500 per month, which is half the average salary in their province. With the deepen, uh, uh, deepening gap between economic and social development, over the past 15 years, more and more uh, Miao young people have moved from the mountain to the city to study and work. The older generation uh, of a Miao craft woman choose to stay in the mountain. The young people uh, living in the big city are getting the test of the modern education, tech, and arts. This is really change their sense of the beauty and uh, their values. So they are not getting much of the chance to learn about or understand the Miao embroidery. There was the one Miao young people study fashion design and express the lack of the reverence of the Miao embroidery, and she think it was old fashioned, monotonous, and rustic. Our problem statement is the traditional Miao embroidery is facing a heritage crisis due to the lack of a modern relevance, limited transmission, and a low economic incentive. How might we encourage young Miao inheritors to actively engage with the Miao embroidery and utilize innovative means to maintain the place of the tradition practice in modern culture? I'm Luo Xianru and come from the Tuja ethnic minority group, which has lived with the Miao people generation after generation. So since my undergraduate, I have uh, been exploring how to use the digital media arc to keep the Miao culture alive for the next generation. I'm Wang Wanqiu, as a person from China's main nationality, representing 91% of China's population. I have limited exposure to the ethnic minority culture before. At DSI, I saw Daphne's efforts to preserving the heritage of the minority culture which deeply touched my heart, so we decided to work together. And now I'm excited to share that our, we partner with Deng Li, the curator of China's largest Miao embroidery museum. She and her father have been working, collecting, and innovating with the Miao embroidery for over 70 years. We work closely with her for the entire thesis process and bridging the gap between the China and the United States. And I'm also very happy to share that she has even enjoyed uh, joining us today as an uh, audience. We can find her in the audience. <laughs> we are just to talk about the friction between minority culture tradition and the modern life before. By bringing these two things together, 
as a social designer, we see an opportunity to sustainably preserve the Miao embroidery tradition. The opportunity is leveraging the modern technology for dissemination, encouraging community involvement, helping young Miao people to connect with their culture. Our main focus is to serve and empower the Miao people, making sure they are always at the center of our actions. For modern technology, we combine Web3 technology to release NFT. I know maybe some of you are unfamiliar with NFT. NFT are non-fungible tokens. Most importantly, NFT serve as a platform for permanently preserving cultural heritage, giving us the opportunity to ensure the cultural endurance for generations to come. With this platform, we choose to upload 100 Miao embroidered image NFT to help more people become more familiar with and understand the story and the culture of the Miao embroidery. There are many different patterns in the Miao embroidery that represents over 100 different tribes from Miao. In particular, we choose one pattern named crosses at this time, which represent unity, harmony, and the connection between the human and nature. We uploaded 100 cross-stick patterns on the NFT trading platform OpenSea, and the response was amazing. People love the pattern, and it really helped to get more people interested and invest in the Miao embroidery. We continue our journey to explore how to deepen our understanding of this culture and enhance community engagement. We collaborate with the Guizhou Radio TV station in China to produce a documentary. In this documentary, we share our experience as the international youth working to develop and innovative the Miao embroidery heritage. We also connect with other young people who have the same dream of the passing on Miao minority culture, helping us to reach a wider audience to embrace the culture. Yeah, I, 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 In our next step, we want to build a connection between the Miao embroidery and the public. So we joined the art fair hosted by the Meng Hui Sun and Ivy Time from DSI. <laughs> we want to create a platform where people can learn about, engage with, and celebrate with the beautiful and intricate art form. It was a great time people in the New York City could get close to the Miao embroidery collection. And we're also very happy to meet many people who are interested in the Miao embroidery and have gained seven opportunities to work together in the future. And in addition, we have generated over $2,000 in revenue in two days. We plan to give back it to the community. We want to build a bridge linking the cultural heritage of the mountain to the modern market. So maybe it's us now stand in this thing. It's also the conversation between the Miao culture from the mountain and the young people in the New York City. Good news to share. Our city partner has registered a company in New York, and we will continue our mission as the co-founders to carry out the legacy of the past forward. We will do exploration in the future, always keeping Miao people in the circle. You know, a single thread cannot make a pretty pattern by itself. It takes a bunch of uh, more threads to come together. We are hoping you will be one of the threads, joining us to wave an amazing and a beautiful pattern. If you want to talk or share some opportunity with us, please follow us over Instagram at the uh, pathforward.culture. Big thanks to you all. The project couldn't have happened without the Miao community, our city partners, 
our team, and all of you here today. Please allow me to say thank you in Miao language, Ji Ko. Thank you. Thank you.